فكيف ترى بين هذا وذاك؟ Right. Well, on, on, the, on the positive side with Colonel Gaddafi, uh, you don't need a fake color revolution. You have your real revolution, which is composed of very significant achievements, right? The, mm -hmm. uh, the end of a monarchy, the end of foreign domination, the removal of a very big foreign base, the nationalization of oil um, over the years, resistance against all kinds of subversive uh, attempts, bombing in 1985, the attempts in the middle of the 1990s, then national infrastructure, the great man-made river, uh, and then, I, I think one of the important things is that by resisting today, Libya and, and Colonel Gaddafi have made it possible to strip away the mask of the color revolutions of the CIA. In other words, strip away the rhetoric about democracy and freedom and human rights and show that underneath it was the same brutal, cynical face of imperialism. In other words, uh, killing and bombing and so forth. It's interesting, though, that in, in the case of Libya, it's the, the British and the French, the old imperialists of Suez who make a comeback with, the, with Obama in the background because he doesn't want to embarrass himself by being an open Pardon imperialist. Me. He can't be as violent as Sarkozy or, or Cameron because he is, of course, a peace angel. He's a Nobel Peace Prize winner. They're trying to play it with the cold blood. Well, just faking, right, as oh, usual, faking, deception, yeah. right, yeah. typical Obama. But the thing that is, I, I think, the, the most important thing to stress about the attack on Libya is the role of al-Qaeda, because this is overwhelming, and this is really the biggest weakness of it all. For years and years, the CIA, the State Department have been saying al-Qaeda is absolute evil. They did you know, all these terrorist actions and so forth. Now, we know, I'm sure you know, Al-Qaeda was founded by the CIA, created by the Shall United yes, States, yes. actually created by Robert Gates, the man who's just now That's retiring at, the, at the Pentagon. That's so he, he was the founder. Uh, and they used it as a kind of auxiliary against the Soviets in Afghanistan. They've used it in Iraq. They've used it elsewhere. But here in Libya, they're using it very openly. Essentially, what is attacking you is a NATO machine with airplanes and the Navy and the ground forces, the NATO infantry, are Al-Qaeda. That's true. And we've read with shock in the international press, the Italian and British, but also some American press, about these people like Hassadi in Dana, Hakim and Hassadi. Kum, Kumu, or ben, Gummu. Gummu. Yeah. Uh, also in Derna, and uh, Barani, I believe, also yeah. the three yeah. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in Derna. Uh, and the problem with this is, that this is now a case where the United States, the Mrs. Clinton and Obama and uh, Leon Panetta at the CIA and the Pentagon, they are saying, if you're from Al-Qaeda in Pakistan, we kill you, we kill you elsewhere, but if you're from Al-Qaeda in Libya, we have $33 billion for you. We have heavy weapons. We have public relations. We have diplomatic support. We have media support. We have all the international press that will say, if you're from Al-Qaeda, you're a freedom fighter. You're a wonderful person. Now, inside the U.S. Congress, as you may have noticed, there are some people who are very upset about this. Uh, in particular, Let's say it, right-wing Republicans, the so-called Tea Party, Tea Party. Uh, yes. they yes. don't like the idea of giving their money to Al-Qaeda and supporting Al-Qaeda. So there has been a movement in the House of Representatives to cut off the money. And I am sure that if you continue to uh, expose this aspect of the destabilization here, the Al-Qaeda story, I think that you're going to find there is a significant chance of cutting off the money and ending the war, which I hope uh, uh, will happen. تاربلي ما الفرق في هذه الحالة ما بين النيتو والقاعدة القاعدة تشتغل على الأرض تروع الناس وتقتلهم والنيتو يقصف المباني ويقتل الأطفال والأبرياء سؤال ما الفرق ما بين النيتو والقاعدة؟ Well, they're 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 part of the same unit. Uh, they're they're working together. They're working hand in glove, hand in hand, uh, and it's a tremendous scandal and it's outrageous. And uh, the only thing I can say is, to the extent that the American people learn more about this, they're going to be horrified and they're going to demand. I think that it will end. At least I hope so. I can't guarantee that, but I think it's worth working very seriously in that direction.
can can we conclude uh, mean, uh, from this story from what's going on right now announcement of uh, killing bin laden and uh, united states supporting al qaeda uh, in libya did you think this enemy who was created uh, perfectly by uh, Gates and the United States in Bishawa. Did you think it's finished? They will kill this Frankenstein who they created? Or Frankenstein is so smart, he will turn around to bite their hands and legs? Well, it, 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 it's, it, maybe the way to, to answer that is, is to look, look across the world. What we see is a total assault by the State Department and the CIA against every independent nation state in the world. The CIA basically says, we want the empire. We don't want any more nation states. There will be no more independence, no more sovereignty, no more national dignity. But we will have warlords. We will have criminal enterprises. We will have tribalism. Or we will simply have chaos. And in that chaos, we'll steal the things that we want. The, uh, that we want. Uh, the case of, of the bin Laden story uh, is uh, very ominous because th the story told about this, I, it's fantastic because uh, I think it's widely understood bin Laden had been dead for about 10 years. At least that was my view. He'd been long dead. He died of kidney failure in 2001 or 2002. Uh, what you had going there was a, a kind of a production bureau making tapes when the CIA wanted a tape made, they had these people in, uh, in uh, Abbottabad, and, and they would get a tape made. For example, when Bush wanted to get reelected, they needed a tape to scare the American people. So they said, give us a tape. And they, they had bin Laden come out with a very dark beard. And similarly, at different times, they would have these tapes made. They would also use, I think, actors to give messages to um, uh, terrorists who would call in and ask what they should do. So the CIA office there was probably a liaison office, not an office to, uh, to investigate anything. Anyway, the, the story that is told about this is completely contradictory and keeps changing. The one fact about this is that Pakistan is targeted. Uh, it's a, another announcement that, uh, that the United States is close to war with Pakistan, which you have to factor in to your own strategic uh, situation, that the U.S. and Pakistan could be openly at war just about at any time. The, the U.S. goal there is to steal control of the nuclear forces of, Afghan, of Pakistan, to strip them away. Uh, and that would be done by a raid very similar to the bin Laden raid. It would be done by a raid coming from an air base in Afghanistan and going into Pakistan and stealing the nuclear forces. So what that signals <coughs> is a, uh, a rampage by the United States, a flight forward a kind of hysteria in the ruling elite, which means that really everybody in the world is now threatened. Everybody is in danger. And this includes Iran, China, Russia, because we have people in the United States who say, more color revolutions, more color revolutions, and we'll ride them to Tehran, to Beijing, to Moscow, and any place else, which is insane <coughs> and, and can get you very quickly into... Uh, into uh, a very serious war, a world conflagration. And in the siyaq al-azma al-Libya, in the siyaq al-harb ala Libya, and in the siyaq al-junun in the siraq between the Hizb al-Demokrati and al-Jumhuri, are we in the siyaq as a part of this siraq when we see the Congress now, the siyaq is a part of it, بين رافض وأخذوا بعض القرارات والآن اليوم في هناك تسويت ثاني للضغط على أوباما هل من خلال استقراءك للواقع للسياسة الخارجية الأمريكية they will get out of it well I I hope so and again I I think that's what what we need to work for what I personally am trying to do uh, there there had been a peace movement in the past which was mainly leftist sixties well, no, in the, in the, in the, in the nice Iraq period, the yeah. anti-Bush yeah. movement. Yeah. If you looked in the United States in 2006, 2007, there was a big anti-war movement. They didn't like Iraq in particular. There was um, an impeachment movement to impeach Bush and Cheney. There was also a 9-11 truth movement. 
The effect of Obama has been to destroy all of that. So the leftists, uh, the pacifists, are not doing anything. They're paralyzed for the moment. But instead, we've got these right-wing Republicans from the Tea Party who are, in many ways, doing more. And right now, if we move uh, 30 votes in the House of Representatives out of the war column and into the peace column, the money could be shut off and the bombing could stop. Now, if the U.S. drops out, you have a situation like Suez, 1956, where the British and the French are up in front, the U.S. drops out, the British and the French right now are like two drunks who can't stand up alone, so they they prop each other up. uh, Because they neither one of them could do this alone, so they've merged their military establishment, and I think that would then bring it to an end, and that is what I hope. Because the only thing to be said about this is, end it, uh, it stop it. It's it's a crime, it's a shame, it's it's humiliating and and horrifying for me, as an American, to see this is done in my name with tax money that I pay at least a little bit of it, uh, and uh, well, we need to end it. نعم إذا بهذا نقول أن في الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية النظام هو الذي يحكم وليس الرئيس تتغير الفترات الرئاسية ولكن النظام الرأسمالي هو الذي يتحكم في تنظيم الأمور وتسييرها Well, yes uh, the, the, um, the thing you need to know about Obama of course is that he's a puppet He's a Wall Street puppet. He doesn't make decisions. He's told by handlers, by powerful interest groups, uh, what to do. He's also he's blackmailed on any number of issues. It, it's not clear he was born in the United States, which is a big issue in the U.S. And uh, uh, I'm suspect in his religion religion too. Uh, uh, and the yeah, percentage is some people. Uh, some so people care about trying that. To, trying to play the game with him. هم يحاولوا استمالة أوباما في الطريق الذي يريدون وهذا أعطانا أن نحن فعلا وقعنا في خديعة كما تتحدث حضرتك قبل مجيء أوباما في هذا الكتاب على 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 الديسبشن اللي وقعنا فيه فنحن المال والثروة والسرقة والقرصنة وتأييد التطرف كلها أتت في هذه الحرب الأشياء اللي كانت الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية في 11-9 أعلنت الحرب عليها وتتذكر كلمة بوش الأبن من ليس معنا فهو ضدنا ما هي ما هي القصة الآن اللي, اللي, اللي تدعو الولايات المتحدة وهذا الحلف الشيطاني أن يشن الحرب على بلد آمن كانت علاقاته معه من أبدع ما يمكن وليس كان فيها 